Candia in the Candia Hainsworth Design Studio and the official classroom for the Sew It and Show Up workshops. Today I wanted to share with you a haul that someone had given to me and I haven't even had the chance to open it up but just looking at the outside of the package I am super excited and I thought I need to record this. So a couple of weeks ago I had a sewing orientation and I do this at the turn of the year especially after Christmas because a lot of kids get sewing machines for Christmas and as a way to introduce my services to the community I invite them to my home studio we have a good time and so forth I'm also the host of a group called embroidery boss on Facebook and a member named Isabella Pinterick she doesn't live too far from me and she also owns an embroidery studio as well donated loads of items to my studio after her daughter and her visited my studio when I was having these sewing orientations and I haven't even had a chance to open them but just looking on the outside of this package it's just nothing but beautiful and awesomeness contained inside so I wanted to share this with you and Isabella Pinterick owns a company called SolidStitchEmbroidery.com so you can find her online but I wanted to share this with you once again. Actually, I have to open it this way. And like I said, uh, from the outside of it, you can tell that there is nothing but beautifulness inside of this. And I am just super excited. So, you know, Isabella and I were talking. Look how beautiful this trim is. Isabella and I were talking about, you know, where I get my materials from. And I was telling her that I pretty much fund it myself um, you know my sewing workshops includes the sewing machines the materials just everything I even bring the tables and chairs if I'm doing a community venue and um, she wanted to donate some things to me but I had no idea that it would just be this gorgeous I gotta tell you look look at this trim absolutely stunning and these are bolts of trim brand new brand spanking new and beautiful I mean this would go well on a bib a blouse a dress wow wow look at this one very intricately designed absolutely love love this this is gorgeous look look at this tricolor lace the bold rich colors just super cute and it's even a combination that most probably wouldn't put together but it works it, and it's beautiful I love it and then we have this is some kind of binding it's an elastic binding oh my goodness and this is very very um, helpful when you are sewing on uh, you can sew this at the end of a blouse a skirt I just uh, and it's a bolt here absolutely love it. and look at this one I just wanted to share all of this with you as she has shared it with me and I'm going to share it with my students this is beautiful look at that absolutely stunning and then we have this flat lace love this flat lace and again these are on bolts small miniature size bolts we have a bundle of lace here and then look at this one beautiful and these can actually be posted on crafts so you know I also do craft workshops and then we have a bag of sequins it looks like beautiful all of this I mean, I am just truly grateful. I cannot even say thank you enough. I truly, truly, truly appreciate this. Look at this bold, this bold, beautiful purple. My goodness, it's gorgeous. Just love that. And we have some more binding here, elastic. Just absolutely love this. And we have some embroidery appliques here. Look at this gorgeous absolutely stunning love yes these flat back pearls perfect for crafting and look at this 
oh my goodness look how gorgeous this trim is just love it and I have more so not only did this come packed in this box like so but she also gave me a bag let me get the bag okay so here's the bag and we have some fabric which is always good uh, for uh, sewing lessons because I do provide the fabric as well so these are good for pillowcases and um, aprons and there is quite a few yards in this one I can feel the weight and it's a nice color and then I have uh, some stretchable webbing a bolt of that can definitely use that love that and then I have a bag of variety of elastics so love this and then I have some thread here and um, it looks like serger thread but in some cases you can use this for like bobbin thread at least that's what I do and then we have some more stretchable elastic it's just wider so all of this is going to definitely come in handy and she even gave me some blank mini canvases how cute are these definitely so I, I just truly appreciate this I mean I give away a lot of stuff too but I gotta tell you this is some really good goodness stuff here because that lace is just absolutely stunning and we have another it, it looks like embroidery trim you know and I have a really creative mind so I can do a lot with this and we have some fabric ribbon and look how much is there that's a lot and some more elastic trimming even binding and then we have some grommets here and some buttons uh, some snaps and some more snaps and some more grommets so I've already put the lace that I showed you away and I want to show you how I store the lace and how it is accessible for my students. So Isabella gave it to me and I then give it back to them. I don't keep anything from my business. My embroidery business is completely separate from my sewing workshops but it's all held in the basement of my home but my embroidery business is ran on one side and the sewing workshops is ran on another side so I just want to show you how I store this because storage is very big for uh, crafters and embroidery uh, people that store uh, supplies always ask me how do I store my stuff so it's very simple let me show you so I wanted to show off my chairs that I made and these are the waiting chairs that parents can sit in and these were like the director style chairs and I just got these from the Salvation Army, spray painted them, bought some red vinyl and um, some canvas fabric and I embroidered my sewing workshops logo and my name on it for all of you embroidery fans and I absolutely love the way these chairs came out and these are pretty much rested in the trim area and this is the trimming station and basically what happens is I know it's packed but this is an art studio so we have a lot of stuff so basically for example this is the trimming that uh, Isabella had given me so it will be stored in one of these and the colors are separated um, by I'm sorry the ribbon is separated by color and it's written on these little chalkboard frames that I have made so this is her stuff and when a, a student comes all they need to do is pull it out and some of these have scissors in them already and some of them don't but I do keep an extra set of scissors so they can just grab them and either cut what they need or they can pull out the whole drawer and uh, take it over to the table 
So basically, this is my trimming station. And uh, it is separated according to the color. So that's how it is pretty much organized. And it was very easy for me to organize anything. Like, she gave me a lot of stuff. And all I had to do was just kind of drop it in the baskets. As you can see, that's some of the stuff back there that she gave me. And um, I don't have anything kind of laying around. And, you know, it's just easily accessible for my uh, attendees or participants or students uh, just to grab. So basically, I wanted to say thank you once again to Isabella Pinterick of Solid Stitch Embroidery. Please check her out online. And if you are not a member of Embroidery Boss on Facebook, please join us. And once again, my name is Candia Hainsworth at CandiaHainsworth.com, Candia Hainsworth Design Studio and the uh, sewing instructor for the official workshops for the sewing and show workshops thank you so much for joining in and i'll see you next time mm -hmm.